Hey everyone, welcome to Prime Answers. This is our weekend Q&A. Uh, usually goes up every Saturday. If you would like to actually get your questions in, all you need to do is head on over to our Discord server, link down below, and you can actually submit your questions. Also, occasionally we will take questions from a community post like we are doing this week. Now, the headline topic, I don't even know what it is at this point because I haven't answered the questions, but the headline topic is somewhere in the mix of questions. Let's try to get through as many questions as we can as fast as possible, the same way that we handle our news. Let's go. Our first question comes from Rare Air 23 and he says, Prime question, a 4chan leak that got a small bit of traction a couple months ago predicted the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Metroid Prime 4 would release in 2023 together. Oh man, what a bold bet. <laughs> in a perfect world where both games are ready to release in the same year, what good reasons are there to take on such a task releasing both games in the same calendar being that they're such big games? What? What? <laughs> that I... <laughs> Rare Air 23, I love you, man. Metroid's not that big of a franchise. You want to know what's a bigger combo of games? Splatoon 3 and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet this year. One, Zelda has only sold over 8 million units one time. That was Breath of the Wild. Metroid has never sold really north of 4 million. So what are we talking about? These are not what you think they are, all right? You can have multiple big releases in the same year. Let's start there. Let's ignore Let's ignore what the games are. Nintendo can have multiple big releases in the same year because they have multiple big releases every year. They really, really do. Seriously, did we forget 2017, Splatoon 2, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade Chronicles 2? This is not really rocket science. It's a really confusing question, and I don't even understand the premise because you're acting like Nintendo can't release multiple big games in the same year. And again, as excited as I am for Metroid Prime 4, Metroid itself is not really that big of a selling IP for Nintendo. It's actually in the, like the bottom tier. So I don't even think that they would consider it a big game release in 2023. Corey Bohm has a question coming in here and he says, Prime question, who's better at Splatoon? Eric Moore, our host, co-host of the Nintendo Prime Podcast, or Sonic Man the Best? Please explain in detail. There is no detail to explain. Eric Moore doesn't play Splatoon 2, so Sonic Man the best wins by default. Next, uh, Splatoon 3 lands. Can we all squid up to Splat Prime? And he's talking about E-Primify uh, from our live streams. And I don't team up to gang up on anybody in Splatoon 3. If it just so happens that we're randomly on the same teams, then we're randomly on the same teams. But there's he's going to have teammates too, and I'm not very good at Splatoon, so I'm going to be the one that gets wrecked. Uh, Terrence D. Clark has a prime question as well, and he says, Will you stream Tuesday's GamesCon event? Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. That is the 23rd. Yes. Yes, I will be live streaming on the 23rd, uh, because we know there's going to at least be Sonic Frontiers at opening night live. So that alone is reason enough for me to live stream the event. And yes, we'll be live streaming it right here. It's going to be a little weird. It's going to throw off my news video that day, I bet, but we'll figure it out. All the rest of these questions come right off of YouTube. First one from All Things Mario saying, Having been over five years since Mario Odyssey and speculation of a new Mario game being announced next month, do you think Nintendo is ready to finally bring back its main man? And if so, where is the direction they take it? An Odyssey sequel, a whole new open world game. I think it's been long enough since Mario Odyssey that we are not going to get a sequel. They're clearly working on a brand new 3D game with a brand new direction. I don't know what that direction is going to be but yeah if they wanted to do a direct sequel like three years ago was probably the time to drop it we're about three years too late so with that amount of time i would presume it's a brand new concept having hope five asks do you think if we get a september direct do you think we will get breath of the wild 2 info release date and a title or do you think it will be delayed again what is what no one we're not going to get a breath of the wild 2 news in september just I'm, I'm i'm just throwing this out there as a guess i don't actually know but i don't expect it and just because it's not there in september doesn't mean it's delayed the game doesn't come out till 2023 what are we talking about what are we talking it's a 2023 game it's spring of 2023 that means they have all the way up until basically sometime in june to release it now people don't realize that spring heads into june Look, look, guys, there is nothing to worry about with Breath of the Wild 2 at the moment. We don't have to hear about it this year. They can start the advertising campaign in January or February of next year. Breath of the Wild 2 doesn't need nine months of advertising to come out. It'll be fine. People are worrying too much about this game. Seriously, 
Don't worry about it. Stop expecting to see it this year. It's not a game coming out in 2022, and it not being shown this year doesn't mean it's delayed again. All right? Seriously. Let's move on. The Speed uh, Forever says, which Nintendo franchise do you think deserves to come back? Like maybe F-Zero, Golden Sun, King Icarus, Donkey Kong, or whatever one you think. Well, Donkey Kong, I'm going to kind of set aside, although we haven't had one since Tropical Freeze. That was in 2014. Uh, the rest of those haven't been around, but uh, F-Zero and Golden Sun, uh, probably a bit longer. We did have Kid Icarus Uprising at one point. Uh, none of them. I think Snowboard Kids needs to come back, and I'm going to stand by that. Uh, Nintendo Reconnects says, what is your favorite part of being a content creator? That's a really, really interesting question, because I enjoy being a content creator for, for many reasons, but just to keep this uh, low... I guess just interacting with the community is probably my favorite aspect. It's not why I create content, but when the content's done and out, that what's left after the content releases is your reactions and interacting with you guys. So that's probably my favorite part. JTS asks, is there any hope left for a brand new 2D adventure, not a port for Mario and or Zelda? Well, sure. Uh, I think Link's Awakening, the top-down, that was a uh, example. So if, you, if you're just talking about top-down Zelda, not like 2D, but a top-down Zelda game, I think there will be another one. As for a side-scrolling uh, Mario game, absolutely there'll be another one someday. They're giving it a break. Uh, last time they gave it a break, they came back with new Super Mario Bros. Wii, and that exploded onto the scene. So I think they're doing the same thing now. They're giving 2D Mario a bit of a break, and they'll come back to it next generation. So yeah, there'll be new ones. It's just going to be a bit. Uh, JD Incinerator says, One, what N64 games do you think should be added to the expansion pass? Conquer's Bad Fur Day. They add that, and I'm good. Cody Gonzalez says, thoughts on Xenoblade 3 or Xenoblade as a franchise? Uh, so far, I'm, I'm really enjoying Xenoblade 3. I think it might be the best of the Xenoblade trilogy, not counting X, of course, as a sort of a side game. But yeah, uh, the Xenoblade franchise itself is really, really good, and I think Nintendo's trying to turn it into the Nintendo Final Fantasy, and I'm all on board with that. Coop de Loops' says, favorite part of Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread, my favorite part, the entire game. I don't know if I could break down any specific part. I mean, the boss fights, I guess, are pro... Ugh. The boss fights are really good. But I love the exploration, I love the puzzles, even running from the Emmys. Like, there isn't a whole lot I dislike about Metroid Dread, to be honest. It's probably easier to ask me, what do you dislike about Metroid Dread? Well, I guess my answer is the same. Nothing. Uh, Death Sword Slash is what Zelda stuff is going down in 2022. At this point, nothing. I don't think we're getting anything Zelda this year. Sorry. Uh, Bicaria says, the most important question of the day, lemon or lime? Lemon. Well... I like lemon in most situations. I like lime in drinks. I'm weird. Sorry. Anyway, folks, that was Prime Answers. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch each and every one of you in our next video.